It's a nice day in Hebrew, Kentucky, where the bee research team from CMS, we are we are here to talk about the bee life cycle and the harm the varroa can do to it. We hope you enjoyed this interesting but valid research. Thinking about the bees and how the life cycle has changed in many ways. The bee life cycle is a very short process and the varroa mite harms it. This is an important part of a bee life cycle and has changed and affected in many ways because the life cycle can take a short time. The varroa mite harms it. And there are many stages to the bee life cycle. The life cycle of a bee is a short process that can take between 17 and 24 days, depending on what type of bee will emerge from the egg. According to the website dummies.com, the queen takes three days as an egg, five days as a larva, nine days as a pupa. The queen's full life cycle takes 17 days. Next, the worker bee takes three days the larva for, takes six days, and then a pupa takes 12 days. The full life cycle of a worker bee is 21 days. Next, the drone bee takes three days as an egg, seven days as a larva, 14 days as a pupa, and the full drone life cycle takes 24 days. Oh, do you ever think, think of why bees disappear? The website SDICD state state beekeepers.org stated that the varroa mites affect on bee on the bee life cycle and can destroy beehives. The varroa mite harms bees during the life cycle. Varroa mites go into the cell one day before it's capped. They suck the blood from the larva or pupa. A varroa mite will rarely kill bees, adult bees. The varroa mite can be seen on the white pupa. This can cause the bee to never become an adult bee. This is one reason why bees are missing. When a varroa mite gets, mite gets into a hive, it can cause problems for the bees. Have you ever thought of the bee life cycle? The bee life cycle has many stages that are very important. The first stage of the bee is the egg. A queen bee lays 1,000 eggs a day, according to mid-state beekeepers. When the queen bee is about to lay an egg, she makes sure the cell is clean before she lays the egg. It takes one to two days to clean a cell. If a queen bee chooses a standard worker size cell, she releases a fertilized egg, then a whiter drone size cell. She lays a non-fertilized egg. An egg is very tiny. The egg is about to become a larva. The next stage in the bee life cycle is the larva. The egg hatches into the larva. Healthy larvae are snowy white and resemble small grubs curled up in their cell. The larvae eat royal jelly the first days and then they go to pollen and honey. According to scmidstatebeekeepers.org, well-fed nurse bees keep young larvae swimming in jelly. A larva is now 1,570 times its original size. Once sealed in, the larva spins a cocoon around its body. This part is like a caterpillar, a caterpillar spinning a cocoon. This larva is about to turn into a pupa. When the pupa is here, it will start to take shape of an of an adult bee. It gets eyes, legs, and wings. The eyes change colors. The website dummies.com stated the first color is pink, then purple, and finally and, and finally black. Little hairs start to cover the body. Pupa are usually white. The pupa looks like an adult bee. The pupa chews the, the wax away and emerges from the cell and is an adult bee. The life cycle has many stages and a lot of detail with it. Bees are really important to us, and the rural mite are harming the bees. The different stages of the bee life cycle are important, but the varroa mite is affecting bees during the life cycle. The pupa stage is the most important because the pupa starts to form into the bee. Also, the larva grow, grows 1,570 times its original size. The bee life cycle is amazing. 